mad because your girl, I mean your girl my what you mad about? Because all the aunties and all the, the, the black women, we love Country Wayne and all the real ones, all the real dudes out there who really about their family. Hey, Country Wayne, my boy, you would never get them. Reset TV, what's happening is gravitating away. Uh, very disappointing back and forth I caught on the internet and I knew it would happen. I didn't think it would happen at this degree. Um, once I saw a segment of the Shannon Sharp Godfrey interview, there was a miscommunication with Godfrey not understanding what Country Wayne said during his interview. And even then, Godfrey kept it respectful and was trying to understand what Wayne meant about veteran comedians doing shows at you know comedy clubs etc i guess godfrey thought maybe wayne was taking a, a jab at it but it got corrected shout out to shay shay for fixing country wayne's words but nonetheless i got to admit especially as a long time country wayne fan uh wayne's you know, colors came out today, y'all. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. His colors came out today. And let's make this clear. We don't have to be prisoners of the moment, right? I'm not some of these people that views a bad moment from maybe somebody they like or maybe, you know, they want to disparage and they use that to move on with it. No, I'm not saying I want to be a prisoner of the moment, but I do feel the need to expound on this. First, let's go ahead and start with Country Wayne's response. Hey, man. Hey, this is a message for, um, shout out to Shannon Sharp for representing me on his um, club, Shay Shay, when Godfrey tried to come and say whatever, whatever with Godfrey and all the other comedians who've been hating on me a long time. Let me tell y'all something. Every comedian to me funny. Now, if you want some advice on probably why you never gain that audience, because, bro, you, the audience you speaking to just ain't the proper audience. I don't know what you're talking to. I might not be fun to you, because I was, I was speaking to the streets of where I come from, all the hustlers. Not the jack boys, but the hustlers. And the bad, and, and to the bad ones. I always kept the bad women, and the people who get that money, the people who work hard, you know what I'm saying? Not, you know, hustling ain't just selling drugs and all that. I'm talking about people who work hard, take care of their family, black people play spades. Uh, uh, the white people who understand the culture, who've been around the culture, yo, what you talking about just ain't what people own. Because your girl, I mean, your girl, my, what you mad about? Because all the aunties and all the, the, the black women, we love Country Wayne and all the real ones, all the real dudes out there who really about their family. Hey, Country Wayne, my boy, you would never get them. Your haircut on that interview, if you seen it. That's why they don't rock with you. That's why there ain't no you. I'm riding through Chicago right now because I got a show at a theater that I'm gonna make a hundred K plus in the real Chicago street. Gonna be in ain't nobody in Chicago got that haircut and talking like that and leaning like that when they talk. So as you guys seen that, and trust me, I want to touch on a lot of things Country Wayne said, but let's go ahead and drop the Godfrey response for context. Not shit on Country Wayne. I don't know why he thought I shit on him. I didn't shit on Country Wayne, man. I, yeah, someone told me that, but my agent, my agent called him. I don't know why Country Wayne decided to pick me. It's it's Faison that was talking about his ass. Faison. And and listen, I don't know Country Wayne. I don't know him. I, I know he makes a lot of money off of Facebook. And I know he does comedy around the country, but I don't know him like that. All I said was, I just responded to what he said. Country Wayne is not a veteran comedian. He needs to show respect. Oh, I believe in that totally. There are people that are older than me. I um, D.L. Hughley called me today and congratulated me. I gave him props and everything. How do you Faison feel? Love is the one that dogged him. And he got dogged by other people. I never dogged Country Wayne. I don't know him. And then he wants to make a video telling me to keep my name out of his mouth. Well, why don't you say that about Faison? Country Wayne said that I was jealous of him. Because I, he said, nobody comes to see me. Really? I mean, agree with him saying that if you're at a comedy club, that he said that you're not doing, you're not a real, com or something he said about being in a comedy club is a bad thing. That's where you find comedians. Comedy clubs are built for com comedians. That, that doesn't make any sense. Jerry Seinfeld still goes to comedy clubs and he's a billionaire. What are you talking about? Chris Rock still works out at comedy clubs.
because that's where Richard Pryor worked out at comedy clubs. Theaters, yeah. That's all I'm saying. And I don't know the brother and I had no malice for him. I actually complimented him on his um on his hustle. Okay, so the Godfrey response is done. Let me go back to Wayne's response. Wayne, you said a lot there, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I think you handled this awful, right? There was a lot of miscommunications, and you specifically said that you know Godfrey could have called you, but Wayne, also you could have called him. And I think it was unfair for you to lump up Godfrey with all that built up energy you have with other veteran comedians who had a thing or two to say about you. And if we wanna be honest, maybe there's behind the scene things that goes on that we don't know, but as far as on Front Street, for the most part, people support you, Wayne. The fans, other veteran comedians, they support you. So I feel like you chose the easiest target. It reminds me of growing up in school, right? The guy that talks about you, you know, the harshes, kind of makes it hard for you to keep things moving that person for whatever reason is not the same level of smoke for that person versus a green light like godfrey because godfrey shows himself as easy coming he's smooth to talk to he's non-problematic and if any of you have any inclination of who godfrey the comedian is you've never really heard about backlash on his name so i feel like country wayne chose a moment that could have been corrected and went all in on godfrey mind you this is the same country wayne that did not have this same smoke for a lot of people especially people coming out about your special and let me touch on that special Mind you guys, I love Country Wayne. That show wasn't funny, bro. So now are we to be scared to say anything about it? Because if we do, we're a hater. That special wasn't that funny. Especially me watching you do other stand-ups before where you were, you know, for better or worse, you are okay. Skit-wise, he's funny as hell. Um, I don't get this thing of you going out all out at that on godfrey talking about you know you and his girl mouth all like dude your colors came out mind you i've been seeing for some time now people saying that you know there's another side to you that is hard to respect because you tried to brush yourself as this guy who doesn't cuss and that's all cool that's good godfrey doesn't cuss either by the way for the most part and you walk around on your skits specifically in the social media world of saying Jesus is popping, but I noticed this segment of black folks coming out saying, you like promoting Jesus a lot, but on your skits, you promote the worst aspects of any black relationship. All this skits has everything to do right now. I'm gonna be honest with you, I gotta keep it real. Everybody cheating on each other, it seems like no real black love can make it in your skits. And I wasn't that surprised because one thing I know about Christians, especially being the son of a preacher, the people having their pom-poms on for Jesus all the time and their actions not matching it, dude, it's like second nature for me and a lot of people to spot out. But I've never made that a thing about you know ridiculing you or giving you backlash or any type of negativity because i love seeing my people win quick real quick if you guys haven't noticed a lot of the country wayne skits actors and actresses has been on 50 cents television shows such as bmf and raising canaan so country wayne has put light on a lot of people's careers even if they were actors and actresses before it's like connecting with country wayne he put them on you can never hate on a brother like that but there's nothing wrong with saying hey wayne you're wrong for this and you're giving out a bad energy where a lot of people been waiting for something to go left to tell you how they feel or to add fuel to the fire of hating and that's what happened because of all the people you could have chose you chose godfrey and I really hope you heard his response because that's what I got from his interview with Shay Shay, bro. He never, never called your name out, never disparaged you, but for whatever reason, you had all this energy and smoke to come for him. I don't like people like that, Wayne, where you pick and choose who you'll blow off steam with versus others who you kind of gave light work to. 
I don't respect that. Now, I'm not going to be a prisoner of the moment. And like some people said, oh, I'm done with Wayne or whatever. But I just thought that was real cornballish, bro. That was some sucker shit to go after a Godfrey who really didn't go after your name, bro. I didn't respect that. But look, what say y'all in the comment section? What do y'all feel about this? Who do y'all feel was more wrong or whatever? But I will say this, Country Wayne, your narrative of how you came out at Godfrey kind of substantiated what Godfrey and Shay Shay was talking about. The core aspect of their interview was black comedians hating on one another publicly. Wayne, that was a moment for you to prove this so-called Jesus is popping character you like to portray where you could have reached out to Godfrey and made sure everything was on the up and up, even though I didn't understand where there was a miscommunication because Godfrey never called you out your name or disparaged you, but you could have called him as well, and you didn't, Wayne. But it is what it is. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section. I'm a hot life. Oh, you can't get on me. I might jump on the stage with a stick on me. Back. 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 Back.